What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Feats and Beats. Gentlemen, first on the agenda. Shots. Shots. Let's see where this goes, gentlemen. Down the hatch. Oh, I forgot what that was. That's cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I was like not expecting that. So, all right, here we are. Are we we expecting jasmine? I don't know. Uh, (laughs) Hints of lavender. (laughs) In in my whiskey. I don't know. Where are kids drinking these days? I don't know. Kids, answer the poll. What do you? What do you? Spotify. (laughs) Spotify poll, dude. Let's get the kids involved. What are kids drinking these days? (laughs) Remember when they like, used to promote the hell out of milk? Drink milk. Yeah, like got milk. Just, it's just like. It's everywhere. Just. Milk now the drinks they promote these days. Pure sugar. <laughs> like. Energy drinks. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. For your kids. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. Energy yeah. drink. Did you see that that lemonade from Panera killed another person? Really? What? Yeah, so back? A, so we got a, a we got a body count going <laughs> yeah, on. A second lemonade, victim. Huh? How many till there's a serial killer? Three, right? Three? I it's think three? it's three or more. Yeah, we're just three talking more. about this. And then what? After five, you get a Netflix deal. I think so. That's okay. right. Okay. Yeah, Good luck, Panera. Oh yeah, we're yeah. gonna need that too. Yeah. You got <laughs> full disclosure. <laughs> we, uh, no, no disclosure. We're on a fucking we are another level right now. Great time. Uh, yeah, That's man. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> All right. I didn't move. <laughs> so uh, what's happening? What are we doing today? Uh, I figured we could talk a little bit about the GTA 6 trailer finally dropped. Did we talk about this last yeah. week? Well, we've, I think we've mentioned some about the... Yeah. About how it the but like more, but like more information coming out and like the stuff that they're talking about is pretty interesting, right? Well, mm. so something kind of interesting happened. Uh, it was They got 100 million views in 24 hours. So it was like the most viewed video in a 24 hour period, like ever. Real quick, can we do a quick mic check real quick? Okay, I'm good. Oh, yeah. You're good on your Who, side? Who, me? You're good, like, see what side you're talking. Okay. There's, there's a mic Just making sure, man. Just making sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Check, check one, two, one, two. Check one. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6, continue, sorry. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's a fun thing because there's conversations about just, I don't know, different stuff. Like yeah. uh, the subscription. Have you heard about people yeah. talking about pay by the hour? Not only that, I've heard that this is supposedly going to be you like hear a, that? What? You heard about this, right? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So they, the, the uh, producers of it, the, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Corporation? Yeah. Of, uh, I don't even know what I'm I forget what the name <laughs> Overrock, the, the company is, but. Yeah. Uh, there was, there was, Something they were talking about, uh, you know, the the amount of game you're getting is more games, so it should reflect that. So people started kind of talking about what's going to happen and what they're going to do as far as is it going to be like a subscription-based thing. And so people started talking and, uh, you know, the kind of rumor mail started and the company never announced that that's what they're doing. No, but people but tend to take a like, rumor yeah, around every, with Well, it. I think and everybody's going, yeah. well, just, man, who knows, you know, but and then- I hope not. Yeah, because I guess, yeah, because they're saying they put all the hours into it that, like you said, you should pay for what they're giving you. Uh, they Supposedly, it's going to be like $125 at release. The, just the game itself is going to be, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're, if you're, worried, <laughs> Rob's like, I'll if take we're two. Worried about <laughs> a, if we're worried about a subscription based thing, I would rather pay 120 bucks and, and just eat it there yeah. than pay a subscription. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm really excited about from all like the, if you want to call them leaks or whatever that I've heard so far, is they're going to continue to expand upon the online map uh, throughout the years. So, like, they're going to add whole sections, new islands, new cities, and stuff like that as the years come by. And the map is already, like, three times the size of the original one. Right. So just to fathom how much further they're going to take that, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> What are your thoughts on the whole? Shut up and take my money. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, you, you're gonna do it, huh? If it's if it's pay by the hour, you would do it. It's, well, it's, it's only get, six, it's bro. only getting better every fucking game. Like everybody. All right, I'm taking too fucking long. 
everybody has their dream game about a game. So yeah. like for wrestling, being a wrestling fan, here's what my dream game would be. Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. How I would make it better and craft it. Well, this one's good. This one had great playability, but the controls on this one suck. But the graphics were amazing. Right. And then you get into this generation of console. This game was like the better one. You start feeling like that. With certain games, you're just like, oh, that's what would make this one better. GTA does that with each one. And I feel like Rockstar does that with each of their games. Like you had Red Dead Revolver, which was cool. But it was like, okay. Then when like GTA 3 took off and everything, they went more that route with it. And it was like, okay. They're starting to craft their, you know, find, hone it in and what makes it and find that niche. And right. now they've just gone and been like, okay, remember Halo? Watch this though. And it's just like, uh oh. Did that whole sentence rhymed? That was nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> but the thing is, is that gets me is like in GTA, it's just like, just give us the globe. Like where we have to go to the UK where you had the, the British version where we have to do missions and, you know, wherever you fly over in Tokyo and Hawaii, you do all these fucking crazy this, missions. So this is your dream game. That right? would be my dream GTA. Where, then where you'd, would you go first on the world map? Oh, I don't know, fucking know. I just play the storyline. I'm just, okay. I'm doing like side missions. But I'm, just knowing that China's there. It's good for you. No, but like, <laughs> you, but the problem is, is like you're located in each little city. Like they have little cities that they do. There's San Andreas, there's Vice City, Los Santos, and and then you got the um. Slips my mind right now. Liberty City. Liberty City. Oh, yeah. Uh, Liberty City. So you got the three cities that they keep basing their games off of and it's just like mm -mm. like people are not just yeah some people just hang around the same city the whole fucking life grove street dude. but i think i think but, right now keeping it in america because america's got such a just kind of wild climate going on it's because fucking america's no. the best dude no, that's no, no, no. why Play, play. <laughs> <My> point B. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but a good example of what where Rockstar did it right. Max Payne 3. Like, if you play that, he is all over the fucking globe trying to do, like, I don't want to spoil it. That's a great game. Hitman. Dude does the same. You Traveling see what I'm that. saying? Like, yeah, they, they yeah. go around. Like, did you play the newest one that dropped? What hit me? Maybe a few months ago now. Yeah, maybe even last year. No, dude, it's they're so good, dude. They're so good. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. They're. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, we're doing that. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't know how you guys do it uh, with kids like and controllers. Oh. <laughs> no, you can't. I just did something like that, and then you. Yeah, said that. no. Bad timing, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's poor timing, but I am talking about how you deal with. Kids and the controllers. Like, while well, you, this is a system you play on, and here's what you're doing, and you're getting into your thing. And here's the same time, here's your kid just like, all right, I'm going to eat whatever, and sticky fingers all over, and you're just like, how long until your shit? So are you, are you saying, how do you solve that problem? Yeah. like Just get, get the kid his own controller. Say, my kids have yeah, their own dude. controllers. It's yeah, the kid controller, the one with no batteries, no cable. It's all gooped up. That's all gooped up. It's, it's, it's got the one that shit. doesn't vibrate anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, GTA I've tried. Too. I've tried that, but then they or just I'll clarify. And mine a I didn't get them their own controllers. I gave them the controllers that the system came with, mm -hmm. and I bought my wife and I new controllers. Mm -hmm. But they have their own controllers, mm -hmm. so whatever they do, that's their business. If it's charged, that's their problem, not mine. The so. worst. The worst age is when they realize that the controller they're holding isn't doing anything. And you're like, fuck, here you go. Your turn to play. <laughs> like, yeah, um, I'm pretty excited about... Uh, GTA 6, dude. Yeah, what they got coming. I mean, I, I want to... Uh, I want them to do a zombie mode. For GTA? That'd be dope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, you know, they, they did Red Dead. I would... It'd be awesome. I would love it. 
I always wonder why they didn't. That's do a it. great idea. That was an amazing idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's done it yet. Well, they did it for Red Dead Redemption. That's what he well, just said. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but like, I want to. I want it like modern, like you know, like for GTA. GTA style yeah. Game, but it's yeah. GTA yeah. meets Resident Evil, or what do you? Yeah, just you know, yeah, you know. But would it be Resident Evil zombies, or would it be like be Left Resident Evil Dead and zombies? You gotta go. You gotta go traditional. Um, okay. Kind of like The Walking Dead. So you can't. You, you gotta make a. We we need a zombie game that's more survival. You need to get the build the skills and do the shit and be able to like survive you know i think that's an element that we really <clears throat> don't feel like i've ever had there's good well i mean they there's d- a small indie game indie game called how to survive a zombie apocalypse and it's kind of like that there's a game called a uh, state of decay yes to. dude that game's that, awesome that yes. is but, but like now now take that and fucking expand yeah you expand that game into you know a big much bigger uh, yeah. yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are, dude. Gonna... Yeah, GTA Six. Hell yeah, yeah, dude! I'm so looking forward to it. What's know. What's next on the agenda, there, guys? I can't see from here. Fan question. Fan question. Jason from. Oh TikTok. yeah, Jason from TikTok. Ass. What is so? Wait a minute. Viewership record. Oh, for GTA Six, yes, there was a viewership record. It hit like. Oh, you already talked about yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we heard about that. Oh, 100 million oh. people watched it in 24 hours. Okay, so fan questions. I Justin, ask. Jason from TikTok asks, what's your favorite gift you've ever received? So, just so you guys know, we're in December. It's almost Christmas. Oh, wait. That's what this Christmas is. And this is family <laughs> friendly? Oh, boy. Oh, okay. We're starting off hot, dude. Well, I don't know. It's just like, what's the what's the basis of the question? Like, what, where are we getting? A, gift? a gift? Somebody got you. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go childhood and adult. Whatever, whatever no. you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. It like, doesn't specify, oh. so you don't have to. You know? Shit. We are good. So, it didn't I, specify, so you don't have to. So all right. Uh... Mark, <laughs> you want to start this? Uh, man, dude, I don't know. Like, it's hard to say like just one, right? You know, what I'm yeah. saying I'm stalling. So here. I was, I was a kid when I was a kid. Um, I, my grandparents bought me a gift, and it was it was wrapped in this massive box. And my uncle was kind of a bit of a prankster, and so it was one of those. You know, you wrap one and you open it up, and there's another box. And I got all the way down. To a box that was about this big, and I opened it up, and it was the full like Voltron. Oh, nice! Thing. I was like pretty young. I was like probably way too young to have that toy because it was all made out of like cast, like die cast, you know. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was it was really cool when I was a kid. That was <clears throat> it was pretty amazing. Voltron, nice. Yeah. yeah, I remember when I got the original Nintendo. I was gonna say somebody's gonna say NES. When I got the when I got the NES. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I think I've told this story before, but like it was a really awesome, like present gift. And then I got told to go to bed, and then all the adults played it in the living room <laughs> while I was fucking in my room crying because I could hear them playing it. Merry Christmas. Fucking Merry Christmas, Mark. Damn, Hell yeah, that's dude. Rough, dude. I'm sorry, man. Love you, mom. Dude, you know, sucks, man. So, a- so you you sat there and listened I was like, to them. Fuck yeah, playing Nintendo. Mario I didn't say fuck yeah. I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah, you know, fuck it. Be a little friend there. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, bring the noise. Fuck it. <laughs> and then I opened it and I was like, hell yeah, dude. And then, they- and then the- <laughs> I'm like, can we play it now? And she's like, oh, it's getting late. You know, we should go probably go to bed. All right. And I can hear them fucking, they open it and they're fucking. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. That's messed up. Go to bed. Go to bed. What about you, Josh? Favorite present? <laughs> Are we doing kid? That's a kid. What do you want? Yeah, go for it. Gift. Favorite gift. You said Nintendo. As a kid, I'd probably have to say when I got a Sega Genesis. Because that was mine. The Nintendo was my sister's and mine together. The Sega was just mine. At that mine. time, Genesis was like a step up in graphics, right? That was mm-hmm. a big deal. That was a big deal then, you know? Still remember playing Joe Montana football. Yeah, dude. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Blades of, Blades of Steel. No, Blades of Steel was on the Nintendo. Was on well, you had Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, Toe Jam oh, and Earl. You had uh, Sonic Pinball was a great. You CD had Moonwalker. 
Yep. Oh. The X Men game as well Old too. The beast. On the, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Rob. The X Men game was way better on the Sega than it was because they actually had Gambit. Mm -hmm. And that was like the thing was like, oh, that's the closest to the cartoon we're going to get. All right, cool. (laughs) And so it's just like, just give us a fucking game like the cartoon. And you're like, cool, here's an arcade. And you're just like missed on the characters. (laughs) Okay, you went old school. We'll deal with it. But I remember they still had that attachment too, where I had the actual Sega Genesis unit. And then you could buy the add on Sega CD Mm -hmm. that just connected to it. So I didn't have to buy a separate player. That was the shit. And then I got a Sega Saturn after that. You could play Daytona USA on there. <laughs> I did. I, I I never got the Saturn. I went. Uh, did you ever do like Dreamcast? I never. I, I, I did. played the Dreamcast, but oh. I never owned one. I never owned one. Yeah. I gave my buddy my Dreamcast, and I was like, uh, I I miss it to this day, but don't. Hit don't him up, dude. No, 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 no. Let him have it. <laughs> uh, but it's just. They should pay. But that was a great fucking system. They had some good games for its time. I was was it was it like Resident Evil, like Code Veronica? Wasn't that? <coughs> I remember yeah, that was a like, movie. but like you had um, Day of Reckoning. It was movie? like what is it? Power Stone, Power Stone Two, where it was like you were little fighters, and the map moved and broke apart, and you, you still kept fighting with weapons. It was kind of like Super Smash Brothers, but it was moving. It was. It was cool for its time. And then they came out with part two and it was like, oh my God, like even different characters like they do. Um, They had a Spawn video game, which was kind of like GoldenEye at the time. But it was Spawn and you could jump and... Yeah. Yeah, duck and all the cool moves. Yeah, you do all the fucking moves. (laughs) It was... It was like pretty much yeah, all of this. All that you got. But then like you could you pull out like and this. like do like the third eye, like the third person view. The brown eye. Like it's just the third eye, huh? The brown <laughs> eye spawn. Uh so uh Christmas is coming. Christmas is coming, dude. Christmas is coming. All over us. Um <laughs> we uh Grab a last, towel. you can buy them in our shop. <laughs> Follow last the week, link at the did, bottom. We did funny Christmas movies last week, right? And right. We're gonna do uh, favorite favorite horror Christmas movie. Let's go. You want, so what do you got? Who's you want to do that now, or do you want to answer a fan question and do that in the second half? No, let's do it right now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. let's do a fan question, so, or should we do a hot take? Oh, dude, we gotta do hot takes real quick. Let's do hot takes because I feel hot. like we can really like deep dive into this. So we got like ten minutes before okay. the half. Let's, let's you know it. what I mean? So let's do a hot takes real quick. Hot takes, hot takes. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> fucking spicy takes! I'm dude. so sorry wow. about that. Hot takes. I was trying to hold that in while you were talking. <laughs> oh, it's grab your own. Got it. sorry. Oh, sorry My about bad. that. I like that one. Here, Josh, did you get one? Yes, I did. If you don't like it, gentlemen, burn it. <laughs> I'll go first. This one, this one's already been proven true. I, that doesn't. Yeah. Massages hurt you the more they relax you, more than they relax you. Uh, I I could agree with that. I feel like those TikTok fucking places, dude. Those people cracking people's backs and shit, all fucking crazy. Yeah, I've had some. I've had some rough ones. Yeah. I, don't, I, I had one where the the lady had asked. She said. You know how much pressure do you want? And I said as, as much as you could do because she was pretty small, mm. and that was the, the wrong, wrong thing. To say. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It was like the next two days. I was like, oh my god, I've never felt like this before. It was great, but yikes! There yeah. was times when you're just like, oh my god, you know? Yeah, yeah, it was rough. Yeah, it all depends, man. It depends because like I like you said, I've, <laughs> I've had I've had some rough ones too, like that, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've, I, what are we laughing about? What don't, did Rob do? Don't even do it. I, <laughs> I, I telepathically know exactly what he's thinking, right? Yeah. I'm looking at you know exactly where I'm going. All right. Okay. Um, um, what about you? Massage. Good, bad? Dude, did I not just answer that? <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm, I'm, trying to avoid, I'm trying to avoid where he's going to go. <laughs> I, was, bro, I was like, wait. I know I just answered that. <laughs> you almost got me, Danny. Almost did it. Rob, go. What do you think, Rob? <laughs> Tell us what you think. 
What would, what would the guard say? <laughs> I was just trying to tell you. I was like, I missed the question. What are we talking about? Massages hurt you more than they relax you. The fuck? No, 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 no. Then you're doing it wrong. Okay, it's called a happy ending, bro. <laughs> no. Well, no. I mean, there are those. It's like, don't, don't That's go. where I was trying to stay away from. <laughs> yeah. No, but to be honest with you, I was like... Wait, what? What was the question? And then I hear you talking about like, yeah, they're rubbing him out, and you know. And I'm like, wait, what, <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? I was trying what to steer him the... away from going there. <laughs> my, wait, what are we talking about? Because I came in kind of like, I was waiting for the. Yeah, no, it all hit me a little bit later than I hoped, but yeah. holy shit! And okay, we're back. No, and we're, and back, we're back. No massages. I. Uh, Here's what you do. So each each trade has a school, right? So like you're gonna be a dentist, you gotta go to a trade school and you learn how to do the dentistry and all that. And they gotta practice on people, right? Same with masseuses, so hear me out. You find a school nearby and you're just like, hey, listen. <laughs> I know you can't charge me for this, but I'm going to slip you some money. Can you fucking just work out these knots that I got? Oh, knots. I heard something else. Keep going. (laughs) I just need you to work on my knots. (laughs) What's so funny? Working on your knots. Say it in your head with an Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> working on your nuts. Okay. All right. So I'm very tense. So I got working on my nuts. <laughs> She's just over there, you know, and tell the press on Johnny heart. Chico? We get Johnny Chico uh, coming yeah, in. No, he Johnny said Chico, speak it? Australian. So I was giving it an Australian okay, accent. we'll call it that. Go for it. <laughs> it's my Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> All right, so I'm very tense from working out. And so she's walking on my knots <laughs> down there. And I got, I got them in my lower regions as well, in between my legs. Feel the knots. <laughs> These knots down here are very huge. You've never, never felt knots like these. Crikey, you should feel this. Get her a tug. Yeah, feel it. Give me your hand. No. All right. You got to you hey take there, Mark? Birds um, make men more attractive. Wait, what? What's that? We're changing. <laughs> that one more time? It, it says it's a hot right. take. Beards make men more attractive. Well, I think being the beardest one here. Let me let me get this in, okay? <laughs> Are you the beardest? The, the beardest one. <laughs> the beardest or beardliest? Beardliest one, dude. Anyways, before I was so rudely interrupted. I just wanted to say, that, yeah, man, I'm more attractive. Whatever, yeah. diva. You think so? <laughs> a little bit. All right. Y'all fucking you got? cute you as got? shit, too, dude. What do I got? Um, I got told I wasn't allowed to shave. Mm-hmm. I'm not either. That's why I have it. Pubes either? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> With kids? I With... said pubes either. Oh, pubes either. I want a full lay blinking. <laughs> Just fucking looks like Howard Stern down there, dude. Uh, you know. Just fucking frowning the nose, bro. They Just call me the goat nose. for the reason, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So yeah, I, I, I'm told I can't shave mine, so. I mean, you it, guys told me here. I can't shave, so, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, no, I think it's more of the baby face. Like, they're afraid of, the, like, the, hey, wait, no, no, no. Like... You gotta look older, look more distinguished. Holy Culkin under that, dude. That's it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he shaves, he loses like three feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's really just me and two kids operating this whole operation. He had to just even out his beard. <laughs> what, is, what is that story of the Bible about the dude Samson? He cuts his beard and he has no powers and he's like, gone. Working his knots. He goes. <laughs> Workout is not. Hey man, how you doing? Well, what's going on? Man, I won't grow back. Danny, you got a hot take? 
um, <laughs> living 100 years in the future would be better than living 100 years in the past. Absolutely. Fuck no. What? You trying to go back 100 years? Fuck yeah. You know how many bets I'd win? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you... Oh, but stay I, I mean, out of Germany around say this you, time. It doesn't... <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna turn out to, gonna turn out say, to be hey, Biff. listen, you wanna go someplace? Biff from Back Australia, to Australia, motherfuckers. Yeah, the prison island? Yeah. They'll work out you now. You'll be there. safe there. Oh, don't worry, they work you out real good. Oh. And you fucking not. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Future for me, dude. 100 years ago, I just feel like it smelled really bad. You know what I mean? You know, you know, um, did they have air conditioning 100 years ago? They? I don't. I don't think so, bro. Well, oh, not like out, central right? air. They have ice. They have ice back then. I think we've always years? had ice. <laughs> Long time. Well, I know. I mean, like refrigerators and shit. You know what I'm saying? hundred well, years the ago. Well, one thing that took out What's the that, like, dinosaurs was the ice age. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's only hundred. Hundred. <laughs> it's only hundred years. You know, just take a hundred yeah. away from now. Um, right. Yeah, right. I feel like I feel like whether or not we did, it was it all kind of sucked, right? Like, yeah, dude. Hundred years in the future. I mean, I would say it sucked really bad based on like the tone of your skin. Can I go? You know, five hundred years in the future. <laughs> five hundred years in the future. Yeah, yeah. You think we're still here? Five hundred years. What in are the you, future? Futurama? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Just saying. Real question: Do you think we'll, we'll think humanity will still be around five hundred years from now? I think I think there will be something going on. Well, we what did you say last humanity week? Humanity or not, you know? The one from last week where you said like the person being born today is gonna live to see a thousand years. That's, that's what some people are saying. Yeah. Some people are fucking high out of their fucking mind. There's this dude named that. Hank. He lives down the street. He's just like, Hey bro, you gonna fucking see this shit. This rabbit he flies overhead. You're like, the fuck are you talking about, man? Cool, have a good day. Be yeah. safe. So 500 years from now, yes? Yeah. No, what? <laughs> Why Let's go. 500 years in the future. 500 you, years in the future, would humanity still be around? What do you think if we were here, what do you think it would be like? What would it look like? Dystopian, uh, cyberpunk future? You ever seen Idiocracy? I don't 100%. Way, I think that's, that's, that's a great documentary, 100. folks. You're saying 100 years in the future we're going to be that way? Yo, 100. 100%. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know, man. Watch movie Idiocracy. Where are you at with that, Josh? Yeah. I don't think we're going to blow each other up. Yeah. <laughs> you think we're gonna blow I don't think up? we're going to be here 500 years. Yeah, but you think about it, though. In the, in the, in the uh, what, the 30s, it was, you know, the Nazis are going to wipe out the planet. And, you know, I mean, they did some bad shit and we're still here. And then the, what, Cuban Missile Crisis, the red, you know, the, all that shit, we're still here. Everybody was going to die back then, right? Weren't we all going to die Y2K? Do you remember here? that, dude? Yeah. I played the video my, games. My my father until used to tell me some some fucking date in December that that's when fucking the awakening and shit. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking weird shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, all in all, you know. how do you feel about people pushing back the goalpost of the rapture every time it doesn't happen? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my take too. Oh, yeah, you dude. just keep pushing that goalpost as far yeah. as you need. So 500 you know? years from now, we'll get back to you on that. Yeah. We'll let you know. Sure. <laughs> 500 years from now, bro. 500 years <laughs> in the future. Here we go. Better be subscribed. Yeah. How about and we with take that? We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the uh, Facebook and threads. Yeah. Those are all the last days of war, and X is the last days of war because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're, and we're back. That's kind of how you end it. That's right, baby. Yeah. You guys, we got a list here. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas movies? Christmas, Christmas shots? Movies. Uh, so we were going to do... Uh, shots? Last week we did... Uh, shots? And then tonight we Christmas do... Christmas shots. Josh? We do what? Funny Christmas movies? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're going to do scary... A top 10 list of scariest Christmas movies. Horror Christmas movies, right? 
Yes. <clears throat> Already. Uh, <laughs> nobody has the fucking laptop, so we can scroll through it. <laughs> can I go first? <laughs> go, grab, go grab the laptop really quick. Can Should I go know? first? Go for it. Are we just going to do our own top 10? Yeah. I don't think I've seen 10. Go for it. Do ago. it. Do yours, bro. Go, do yours, bro. Go for okay. it. Uh, I'll take Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> I, does that count? As, I, I would. It, it was a holiday. Yeah. Oh it shit! Was Christmas time. Is, do you know if this is uh, in numerical order from ten to one or one to ten, or mm-hmm. does it matter? Doesn't matter. All right. Well, uh, the first one was Gremlins. The Gremlins. only one I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I know. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at this list, and I, it's probably the only one I've ever seen two on this list. <laughs> Gremlins. Gremlins 2 is another one. No, That's but that, was, that wasn't that a Christmas one. Was it not? No. Gremlins 2. I don't remember. Were Gremlins they in, like, 2. They Gremlins was just was New in York. He was in a skyscraper building. Yeah, type. he was stuck at the vent. Yeah. So, no. The dude fell off the roof. I don't remember if Christmas was. But the first no. one was. first one was a Christmas. Hard, That's Die Hard. <laughs> die Hard. <laughs> My comedy movie is your, <laughs> it's your favorite horror movie. Every, no. every, every. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I was, hard. I was describing Die Hard right now, and nobody oh. caught on. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, for Gremlins too, because they were in a building. Yeah, they were. They were, dude. There was, uh, there was all kinds of crazy different Gremlins, right? Mm-hmm. We need that one before Gremlins. There was one before Gremlins. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 Black Christmas. Black Christmas, 1974. I was a wee lad in a nutsack still. I, don't even, I wasn't I, even I, in a nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was in a teenage wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never seen Black Christmas. It's a uh, considered a pioneer horror. Racist. Film. Wow. There's a remake of that movie though, because I've seen the remake. Seen I the haven't remake? seen the original. How was that? The was remake good. was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just like I suspected. For a slasher horror movie, like they're all a bunch of females who try to get together for Christmas and they get locked inside a house and then he basically just murders them all. Oh, okay. Sounds like a good wholesome. And then we got number, th- <laughs> number three. It sounds like a night at Pete Davidson's. <laughs> <laughs> number three, it's Silent Night, Deadly Night. I saw this a long time ago, but I don't remember. Too much about it. Um, a controversial film, bro. I gotta, I gotta watch it. Again. You gotta watch it again. <laughs> get get, get so back to us on that, dude. They said it came out in 1984. I was yeah. one. I was one. I have not seen. Uh, You've not seen Krampus. I've never. I know what it is. I've never seen. See, I've never this, seen the movie. Let's scroll down. This said Jack Frost, and I instantly thought the fucking Jack Nicholson movie where is he it turns not? into Michael Keaton. Snow. Mm-hmm. Michael Keaton. Or, yeah, Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. What did I say? Jack Nicholson. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was thinking Batman. Sorry. The villain. I was yeah, like, oh, this is a great movie, Batman. You guys should watch into, Batman. Into, like, Frosty the Snowman or something like his, that. His, his name kid. is Jack Frost. It's He's a musician, and he right. dies on tour and then comes back as a snowman. Okay. But he only lasts for, like, one winter season. So and he's done. Huh? So well, it's, so then he lasts long enough for the son and the wife to be able to move on. Then he just disappears in the fucking wind. Melts. And then they made a sequel. Oh. I would have said you could move on the second he rolled up as a snowman. I fuck, dude, you're good, dude. Yeah. Fucking go, bro. This is fucking weird. <laughs> go, go, be a Don't tell me you go, got dude. the balls. Go. I promise we're good. Yeah, hey, go. Get out of here. Give me a fucking hug. <laughs> I need to feel your warmth. Place. You fucking, it's, you know, imagine how fucking cold I am. Fuck yeah. Give me a hug. Come here. Give me warm. Frosty. No, nah, I'm good. Oh, just give me a fucking hug. No, yeah, dude, Silent Night, bro. Is one of them as well. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Dude, well, you're married. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> Christmas Evil. Christmas Evil. I haven't seen that one either. A lot no. of these are. A lot of these, some of these are really old. Better watch out, dude. I'm I'm surprised about how many like horror Christmas movies oh. there are. I did not know that. Um, and I don't think that Slipknot's 20th anniversary tour is one of the movies. <laughs> No, that's our next segment. Okay. That's our next segment. Our next segment. We, forgot, so to put, right into we that. forgot to put lines in between segments. All right. We're sorry we've never seen that list. It's just honest. That, but that's, yeah, dude, that's them if you want to go check them out. I heard they were good. You mentioned <laughs> Scrooge last week as a Scrooge. comedy. Yeah. I also feel like that would also fall under horror. 
kind of futuristic. Of certain scenes. Yeah, certain okay. scenes of that. I like that movie. It's, it's it's good, good, dude. See what I'm saying? Like, you talk about the Muppet one. No, Bill <laughs> Murray, <laughs> dude. The Muppet one. Bill dude, Murray. That thing is scary as fuck, fuck bro. Dude. Bro, the Muppet one, dude. <laughs> fucking slaps, dude. I'm not even. Have you not seen it? Bro, you know what you should do? No more weed, that's for sure. <laughs> you should go to a masseuse and walk out in knots. <laughs> Get in knots to talk. Yeah, fucking like feel better. Yeah, dude, what fucking. You, what you do? Fucking slip knot, dude. Let's go there. So, so oh, slip knots. I ain't gonna work on slip knots. Announced the uh, UK. Hey, tour? slip knot just announced it fired half its members, and now it's starting a tour for 2024. Well, yeah, I was literally who is who? That, like, do we like it doesn't matter. They're all wearing masks. Do the fucking part, right? The uh, sure, but who's gonna be the drummer? What I was gonna say was that they. It's like so. Apparently, like one of the big things they did to. Before they announced the tour, was they changed their entire website to look like it looked when it first launched, like back when they first came so out. So starting over. Yeah, kind of like a start over, hitting a reset type deal thing. But like to tease so much nostalgic stuff what from the them, it's not like they're gonna get the old band back together. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not possible. Yeah. So I just yeah, you can't. Who's the drummer? <laughs> Who's uh, you said? Clown took a hiatus. Is Clown gonna be a part of this? I you know, I think like, there was a period of time where I don't think he was touring. I'm not sure long. if he's yeah. back at it or what. But what happened? Yeah. Who's is that? Who's is what? Who's is that beer? I know, I know it's not Slipknot's. Oh, it's mine, bro. Bro, I wasn't done, bro. Okay, etiquette. You don't put a beer in the middle until it sounds like that. This first time I heard it, it sounded just like what? that. Why would you put your beard? <laughs> that sounds like that. Yeah, dude. That means you're yeah, I'm done. Now, if you're a gentleman, put it on the edge of the table and it's just like I'll take care of it. Or get it out of the fucking way. I understand that. <laughs> so you're gonna take care of it? You got it? I would it? take care of it when I'm getting up. I'll uh, take dude. care of it. Or who do you think's gonna drum for slipknot though? Um there's this there's this dude, Jerry. He's fucking green and drunk. Like, yeah, he's near my, he's out back under the buckets. Fucking Jerry. They're gonna get Josh? they're gonna get Jerry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I don't think they can get him. <clears throat> he's already nailed to a gig. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> Please. That answer oh, felt very crossed. I'm sorry. Oh man, you were going there. Okay. I don't. Know, I have no idea who they'd pick. Like I didn't even know about the tour until you mentioned something. Because who would they get to pick? Like, yeah. and to announce a tour so quickly also leads me to believe that they had somebody in mind a long time ago before they kicked Jay out. Possibly. I mean, you know, it takes probably take a little bit of time to get everybody up to speed. You know. <clears throat> Yeah. I mean, you got to get into rehearsals a bit before you go on tour. I mean, they just announced it. So, I mean, I would imagine there's... They got a lineup. Yeah, or they're figuring it out real quick, I guess. But you know, I would imagine we're going to hear something. Do you think it's Dave Grohl? No. Doubt it. <clears throat> Doubt it. Imagine, though? That'd be fun. I don't know. He just took a hiatus from his <laughs> Foo Fighters tour. Did he really? I mean, it's, it's just like, okay, they're going to lay low for a minute. Imagine Dave Grohl the drum just plays my hero the whole time. <laughs> I think it's just a different style of drumming though than what uh, Dave Grohl does, you know? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, like, you know, obviously the stuff he did with Nirvana and yeah, yeah. and then with the Foo Fighters and it, them Cricket Vultures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them Cricket Vultures. Uh, Queens in the Stone Queens Age. of the Stone Age. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he just he's I've. Don't know if I've ever seen him go that hard as That's far as I'm like saying, for like Slipknot, you know? Yeah. yeah. Who's, I mean, who's to say if he can or not? You know? right. Hit us up, Dave Grohl. Let us know, bro. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, Josh is right here. <laughs> like, we got Josh, a drummer. Would you drum for Slipknot if they hit you up right now? Yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> can, can, you take us, can you take us with you? Hey. <laughs> can we go with you? <laughs> I would be happy to be a drummer. I'll, I'll hit the China for you. <laughs> <laughs> That could have been taken so many <laughs> different ways. Bro, did you know that cat, cow farts are going to end us all, bro? <laughs> we're going to that one. Oh, we're going into this? 
Somebody once brought this up to me. Yes. They said, this world's going to come to an end. I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, you're right. One day. No, no, sooner than ever, you know. And it's, Hopefully. It's, it's good. No, like we're completely destroying the ozone. You know, it's the number one killer of the ozone. And I said, what's that? And he said, cow farts. <laughs> now, I thought he was fucking with me the whole time. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. No, no, I shit you not. People eat a lot of bird, drink a lot of milk. They they invest a lot in the cow. There's a lot that they take from the cows, so they have to breed a lot of cows. And if you have a lot of cows, you have a lot of cow farts. And I said, get the fuck out of here. That's not what's polluting it. I think all these fucking cars on the highway that are just fucking billowing out smoke, it's like... Poof. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sure you passed your smug check. Imagine being that first dude, like, standing next to the cow farting. Like, that's it. That's what's fucking causing this, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. This it. fucking cow. It's cow farts. But then you actually look this shit up. Like, because you're just like, you got to deny and walk away. That's what you got to do to look respectable nowadays. <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> Is that true? Is that true? <laughs> like, then he Googles it. Yeah, and then you're just like, like cow hey, farts. you're never going to believe this. <laughs> Cow farts are fucking killing us. <laughs> that's how it starts, man. Bro, that's when I just walk away, Doug. What? Not having yeah, no, it's like, it's not our cow farts. Don't, trust me, we don't even have cows. But the cows nearby, they're farting. It's blowing our direction. It's totally killing us. It's like, uh, no, that's not, that's not quite how that works. <clears throat> is it, is it the, uh, is it the smell that's doing it or is it the methane? Yeah, no, it's the science behind it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's fucking science, bro. It's the fucking totally the smell of the science. Where's Bill Nye, dude? Get on this shit. We need to know. Uh, yeah, is it the smell or is it the science? So, <laughs> what does science smell like, bro? How does it smell like? Uh, to me? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> to, to all of us. Why not? <laughs> Let's go. What does science smell like to me? It smells like burning. All right. All right. We can go with that. Where you're just like, uh oh. So now, guys, check out this segue from a cow booty hole to a man's booty hole. You said you were watching something the other day. Wow. Wait a minute. I was waiting for a video or something. Are you going to play something? <laughs> no, I know like what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. dude. We were, God, we were talking about uh, booty holes. <laughs> there was a show with Bear Grylls. You know who Bear Grylls is? Yeah. He's the like survival of the British special sells the, forces. Sells the barbecues, right? Not those, <laughs> not those grills. Not those grills. Different grills. Different grills. Got it. Bar- bear grills. Bear not, grills. Not barbecue grills. So you don't grill bears on them. No. Got it. But his name is Diff- Bear Grylls. Different, so, um, different guy. Was, there was an episode, and I was telling Rob about this, and Rob about lost his shit. Because I was telling him that Bear Grylls was on a raft and then he made it on some kind of little rock island and he oh, had yeah, no water. This guy. Yeah, no. And okay. so he took a, a thing and a hose and then he like chugged, butt chugged bird shit water so that he could get hydration to survive. Because it was rain, rainwater. Yeah. Rainwater mixed with seagull shit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. So I guess the question is. Is would you keister bird shit water to survive like Bear Grylls? Because Bear Grylls did that shit on TV. And you can go watch it. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, the, the craziest part is that so none, of, none of the story. The cameraman. the cameraman filmed it. Bro, I'd have been like, dude, this is, dude bro, you, bro, you, hey, you I'm can, just, like this. You can <laughs> just you could just explain <laughs> that like, hey, if you're gonna die and you have completely dirty water, like here's the thing you can do. You didn't really need to do it, bro. Like, that was your fucking choice. We didn't need to see <laughs> this it. This dude's just sitting back with some fucking Fiji water. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh. This is fucking, this is life right here. Have fun with your bird shit, As soon as too. he starts, the producer's like, did nobody tell him about the bottled water in the back? <laughs> like, Somebody just there. give him a granola Somebody bar. Right off camera. Let's, let's get you out of there. I'm sorry. They have, they have like a raft. He's literally just off this pier. Like, we can just pull him back in. <laughs> floating raft. Look at him. Right He's just at the sandbar in Havasu. It's <laughs> like, oh, yeah. way to go, guy. Yeah, man. Butt chugging, dude. It's dangerous, man. Mm-mm. You know, butt chugging, Josh. Why are you I'm jumping so fucking quick right now? No, I was keeping it going, Josh. Uh, <laughs> nope, I'm good. So what's up? Are you butt chugging or what? You butt chugging, dude? No, 
No, sorry. Um, yeah. But let me say it like this. If you were stuck on bird shit island with nothing but fucking bird Excuse shit me. water, bear grills, a fucking hose. How did I get to bird shit island? Would you, would you do that for How survival? did I get to bird shit island? You flew there. I just, seagull, I just said drop me off. And then you shifted into Back rub. In the rub. But you don't know how to shapeshift back, so now you're shapeshifted, and now you're on Bird Island. You only had one wish. And you can't shapeshift <laughs> back. My one wish was to shapeshift back? No. No, you can't. You can't shapeshift into a bird. You're a bird on, you're the dude on the island, and you, you don't have any water. So I ended up on it. Life and death. Seagull water in your butt? Or die. Or die. Uh, I'm swimming. <laughs> to you're, so you don't so want salt water in your butt. So you chose death. You're gonna die. Yeah. Butt checking salt water, dude. <laughs> can you? What, what's can the, you? I don't think, I can, don't think you can because he wouldn't have been doing bird shit water. If Imagine if he could water. the whole time. Though? He's fucked in the ocean. Wait, man. Like, I, I feel like you can water. instantly clean this situation <laughs> up. Like he's bear grills. Is he really stuck on a rock? No. Or is it like that's an why island? I said. That's because why like, I how said are you all collecting water on a rock? And first of all, where are you? Where Spot the fuck are you on just a rock and that you're able to stand on a rock in in any part of the ocean? Let's go that route. I just really wish at the very beginning of that clip when he starts, you hear the camera guy, fuck. <laughs> you, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you in the yeah, middle of a fucking rock. Have you seen the video? Yeah, I did. Did you see the video? No. Yeah, so he was stuck on a rock out in the middle of the fucking ocean. And he, single water is gross. It was a raft. Yeah, a raft. but... How do you get to said rock like on a raft? On a raft with the in the middle of the ocean. Why did he have all of the, like all the specific like <laughs> items to make a fucking butt chug? Because he's doing a survival. All right, here we are. I really like, like I butt chug some I really like water beer. Here. I really like beer bongs, and I really like anal. But we're not going to pay so much attention <laughs> to the third. Here's what we're going to do: we're going to need water, <laughs> and we're going to work out them knots. <laughs> Bro, I don't think I could do it. I think I'm dying. Oh, oh. Going, dude. Have you ever had a massage? Mm, yeah. That won't make you feel like you're dying. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore, bro. I got a hot take. Let's go. Take One person take. must always be more dominant in the relationship than the other. I don't know. I feel like things are pretty equal between my wife and I. Yeah, that's the way I'd do it. That's it. That's it. What I just said? Yeah, that's it. That's the only answer. That's the only good answer. answer. We're all married, bro. We can only answer this one way. That's the only answer. I should have waited for the second episode for that question, is what you're saying. (laughs) (laughs) There's only one answer. Oh, I see that one again. I'll put that one again. Mark is absolutely right. What about you? Uh, for me, I feel like it's different situations. One, okay. um, I I have a understanding like, hey, you can handle it, and if you can't handle it, tag me in. I'll fucking take care of it. Nope. Or vice versa, like, uh, I got to walk away or I'm going to kill this guy. All right. Hey, hon, I need you to leave. Okay. And, like, <clears throat> kill him with kindness, like, Tag in situation is kind of what we do. Yeah. I don't know. Josh? I don't know. You've seen my wife angry and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think it's 50 50. That's similar to what you said. Like, if she can control it, then by all means. But with my wife being so little, I almost feel obligated in certain situations just to always be there regardless whether she feels she can handle it or not because she has that stereotype of her like at the show where the dude dumped the beer on her and then she just looked at me like, um, fucking okay. And like he didn't turn around and say yeah. sorry or nothing and it was like, I didn't even get a drink out of that. <laughs> the, almost the whole beer was just all over the front of her. But she's not the type of person that will go and address that right away where I get the look like, mm, you're going to fucking handle that? Yeah. So it just depends on the situation. Yeah. I think uh, what you're describing there, though, is more of just like the right moments to be protective. You know what I mean? 
Um, I don't think that's so much as a dominant thing. When it comes to dealing with the kids, she's dominant. <laughs> I'm the good one. Come crying to me. We're good. Anything that has to deal with the school, talk to mom. Mom yeah. knows all the emails. Go to mom. I just drop off, pick up. That's all. Otherwise, I don't know shit. <laughs> I'm doing what mom tells me to do, too. Right? You know? like, I, I don't remember all of their logins and sign-ins to everything. So when the kids come to me, like, sign me into this. I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, I've learned to ask the question after any question my kid asks, and the question is, what did mom say? Yep. Because they love to try to pull that card, and they're like, oh, dad said you know, I can do it. I, ha- I, <laughs> have, <laughs> one, I have one that I'll, I'll ask that to, and then he'll answer and say, oh, well, it's because I'm asking you because mom doesn't let me. And I'm like, well, there you go. Well, there you go. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. They always try to throw us under the bus, dude. Yeah, I will. Uh, what do you got? Uh, this one says extroverts get further in life. How do you feel about that one? Where the fuck do introverts want to go? Yeah. Stay in their fucking room. I was about to say, isn't that kind of self-explanatory? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. extroverts want to go places. I think, I think this what really the? depends on like what you're doing in life, you know? Because because yeah. if I was a say introvert and I was doing something where I, you know, did something where I just kind of tucked away and worked on a project alone, I think an introvert would really, yeah. Yeah. Can be honest, they're probably having a better time than you <laughs> at that moment. So, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know if they're trying to say they'll be like just more successful in life as far as maybe getting better jobs or something because they're so extroverted, but I don't know. I think there's. It all depends. I think you could be too extroverted too. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you ever met somebody like that. It's yeah. just like you're like, slow down, you know? Yeah, dude. Like, yeah. For sure. What about you, Rob? Oh, yeah. Uh, but I feel like that's self explanatory. It's like extroverts want to go places and they just want to, hey, they're going to go further. Well, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Riker Island. I don't know. Fucking whoop. There you go. Um, uh, no, I, f- I feel like there there are people that are go getters. And then there's businesses that just hire whoever they don't fucking care, run a drug test and jeopardize their whole employee staff. And just, hey, this guy's talking to himself. Oh, don't worry. You guys are fine. Keep working with him. (laughs) I've met met a lot of uh, pretty famous singers that are very introverted. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're... I mean, they stand up there and command stages. It's a kind of a weird thing how many singers, being a sound engineer, how many singers I ran into. And I, I mean, pretty big singers that literally you, you feel like at times you're more of like a therapist to them because they're always unsure about themselves. Like I've worked with some artists that every night you literally have to like talk them up and let them know like, yeah, you sounded okay at sound check. You're set, you're dialed, you're going to do it, you know? So... I, like I said, I've seen some very introverted people that are really famous thrive on stage where you wouldn't imagine they would. And it's pretty amazing seeing, you know? So yeah. I think it goes either way. I think it's the person. You know, I think it's the drive. I think there's been some people who are introverted that do something that seems very extrovert, like activity, and they, they overcome it and they, they champion it, you know? Yeah. So I, I've, I've seen it happen. It's pretty cool. So I think, you know... Absolutely not. I think I think as an extrovert, you can be successful in lots of different ways. Yeah, but I don't think it's one way or the other. For the extrovert, introvert thing? And if you don't got anything for it, then you can also t- take the next hot take. It's up to you. Well, Ooh. I was trying to read this one, and then if I'm going to do this one, I have to clarify it. Okay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Fuck it. Read it. Because of the disclaimer? It well, because it's like, aunt is pronounced aunt, not ant. So they're talking about oh, like aunt, aunt, like, like, like a, a relative. A, it's pronounced aunt, not ant. Instead of saying just auntie, it's auntie. Pot- yeah, it's auntie. Say auntie. I mean, potato, potato, bro. Fucking. It's wherever you grow up. Yeah. I think I think in my family, we always used ant. Mm-hmm. For mine, it was Thea. Yeah. That okay? It just depends on where you grow up, yeah. 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 yeah I have a few ants that used to use the word bitch. But like nowadays, they modernize it. Like I hear TT or... Yeah. Or uh, Tia. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Doing well, this a lot word. of that, I think, comes from kids that they can't pronounce the, the words, so they make up, you know, they do all these words. No, it's Spanish. Yes. Oh, never mind. Sorry. 
Just like make up the, <laughs> making up that shit. Making language. up the words. It's called uh, <laughs> gibberish. Yeah. Tia, tia is just, it's just like Theo and gotcha. Uncle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. This is good. Like switching it up. Uh, you gonna do one more? Sure. Uh, wrist watches are useless with today's technology. Um, as far as like what they're supposed to be used for, yes, probably. But at the same time, we have smartwatches. Yeah, dude. we have Apple watches. We have, you know, yeah. yeah. Mine's not an Apple one, but, but it's still I think a smartwatch. If it's just a wrist watch, you know, if it's just a watch, do you feel like that's kind of obsolete yeah. nowadays? Um, I mean, is it, I like is them it more for of a looks, style for style? Thing? Yeah. Is it, it more depends of a style on, thing nowadays, or yeah? Yeah. There's still people that are really into old school wrist watches, watches you know? Yeah. yeah. I can't do a watch. No. I just, I'm like, why are you trying to do it? Well, so what are you what are you missing? <laughs> what? Lube it up, bro. Like, of course. <laughs> What's going on here that I don't know about? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing with his watch? What you watch, man? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, did you guys want to do the? What do we have left? I think we have a fan question, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. We got one fan question. It's gonna be up top somewhere no. with the other ones. Oh it's no! It's not moving. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Jason from TikTok again. Thank you again, brother. Uh, what is your favorite Christmas song? It's a two-parter. And what Christmas song do you think that we could do a good cover of? Go for it, Rob. Nope. Go for it, Josh. There you go. Favorite Christmas song? <laughs> um, probably the Eight Days of Hanukkah. All right. That's a good Christmas song. <laughs> Hanukkah song. It's. What you got? I don't really like Christmas songs. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm not a Christmas person. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you said that. Didn't Alex Terrible do a Christmas song? It last Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. That's, that'd be that sounds thing. terrifying. I know. That sounds, ter- <laughs> that sounds terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I think I think the uh, the song that would resonate with me would be like Silent Night, but the context it's in, not so much. But the, yeah. the song itself is kind of cool. <clears throat> So for me, it is the Silent Night version that NSYNC does on their Christmas album. Shut up, Rob. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite ones. Uh, we actually, I actually performed it with four other friends. You performed it with NSYNC? What, dude, I wish, bro. Fucking. Who'd you perform with? I just, yeah, where, I was, were you, where was, I was this, this was like <laughs> It was out of sync. Uh, high school, maybe? High school. It was like talent show? Yeah, it was like a high school talent show. Did you guys cool. kill it? She fucking murdered that shit, Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, you would love. I gotta hear this. Oh. This is in sync, silent yeah. night. Yeah, gotta, I'll, I'll, we'll have to when we take a break. We'll go. We'll go listen. Yeah, will we? Yeah. Will, will we? we? I want to hear. I want to hear this. I wanna, oh, I wanna play it. there's so much screaming. They're gonna, the neighbors are gonna call. The you know cops. what sucks is they're not gonna see it. But we, <laughs> yeah, we will. God. What about you, Rob? What you got? Oh. I'm going to go with Merry Fucking Christmas by Mr. Garrison on the Mr. Hanky <laughs> Christmas album. That okay. yeah. that is like been one of my modern Christmas classic songs. I'm like, this is fucking spot on. Just You think we cover that one too? I think we could, but it'd be totally offensive and everyone's just like, how can you cover this? And it's like, shut up, it's South Park. It's fucking funny. Spot on, white peel all over it. What do you got for a Christmas cover song? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Silent night. Somebody really wants fucking Silent Night. <laughs> He's like Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas." Oh, dude, that would be the one, bro. Jam that out. No. That's, that's my answer. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. No. Um, what the hell's the name? Not the Nutcracker song. Uh, August Burns Red does a Christmas theme album every year. It's one of their songs they did. Oh, nice. They take all these old school Christmas songs and make them metal. There's no lyrics, but the actual music sounds good. Yeah. Um, kind of dance to the fairy. Sugar Plum Fairy, but make it. Oh, metal. okay. Dance is, oh, that'd be dope. Dance to Sugar Plum Fairy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So yeah, dude. Mine's a uh, fucking Mariah Carey, bro. All I want for Christmas. Right. So like, imagine Rob starting that off. I don't want a lot for Christmas. 
<laughs> you basically just did the Alex the Terrible video. Right. You basically just did his video. That's Rob, dude. That's you really think I'd be starting out this song? That can't be me. <laughs> Why not? I don't know, bro. Because I... Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. In a poll for this week's episode, who do you think would start out this cover of a Mariah Carey song? All I want for Christmas. This is the poll. Who do you think would start it out? Mark or I? Oh, if I we were to it, cover it. I think it. it would be you. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. no. <laughs> right? Fuck no. I, I think, think the obvious Mark. is me. We throw a curveball. Right? Yeah, no, we ain't throwing shit. <laughs> I, I want to see what everyone else thinks. And I'll be like, these motherfuckers is right. We should do this. All right. So we, then if they do pick you, are you going to do it? Yes. Uh... <laughs> You're kind of set yourself up for that one there. For Christmas. <laughs> See what I'm saying, dude? There is just one thing I need. And then in the back, and I, I can't I get it out of Christmas. <laughs> oh, don't eat this Christmas tree. I just want some Jack Fire to <laughs> fill up my shot glass. Oh, dude, it's just a booty hole. There you go. Okay, go keep going. Oh, now you're singing it. <laughs> to fill up this booty hole, make um. this wish come true. And I think we're done with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. That's the end of the episode. We're the last days of war. This has been the last days of Warcast. Please check out everything in our link in the bio. We love you. Bye.